Hello there guys and welcome back to another GTA The Trilogy The Definitive Edition video here on the channel. Let's get straight into today's video. So the new update is here. Rockstar Games has released a new update for the trilogy. If you remember, we got version 1.02 after Rockstar's apology. Let's check out everything that has been updated with the latest update. This is what Rockstar said on Twitter. A new title update is now available for the PS5, PS4, Xbox Series X, S, Xbox One, and PC versions of Grand Theft Auto, the trilogy, the definitive edition. This contains several fixes and will also be available for the Nintendo Switch in the coming days. Let's take a look at the official patch notes. General PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, Xbox Series X and S, Xbox One, PC. Stability improvements. Added the cinematic camera, which can be toggled by cycling through the camera modes when in-game. Fixed a number of misspellings on texture art slash signage. Fixed a number of instances where rain would appear indoors during cutscenes. Grand Theft Auto 3, the definitive edition. Adjusted the rain during the Give Me Liberty intro cutscene so it matches what is visible during gameplay. Improved the resolution of the signs on taxi front doors. Fixed an issue where rain could be seen inside the mansion during the cutscene to the mission cutting the grass. Fixed an issue where rain could be seen inside Donald Love's apartment during the cutscene to the mission Liberator. Fixed an issue where rain could be seen inside Luigi's club during the cutscene to the mission Don't Spank Ma Bitch Up. Fixed an issue where rain could be seen inside Joey's garage during the cutscene to the mission Cipriani's chauffeur. Fixed an issue where rain could be seen inside during the cutscene to the mission Bomb to Base. Fixed an issue where the rain appears underwater when falling. Fixed an issue where grass could be seen inside Joey's garage during the outro of the mission Drive Misty for me. Fixed an issue where a wall texture near the hospital in Portland appeared incorrectly while driving. Fixed an issue where pink or black textures would appear on the floor of the Turtle Head Fish Company. Fixed an issue in the audio menu where the dialogue volume slider did not adjust the sample audio being played. Fixed an issue where UI would overlap the timer when doing taxi or vigilante missions. Fixed an issue with missing object collision on walls below the Callahan Bridge in Chinatown. Fixed an issue where the player was able to stretch a two-seater vehicle using the car crusher. Fixed several camera issues when playing RC missions. Fixed an issue where misaligned text would appear after delivering to the import garage. Fixed an issue where the mission title would linger on screen too long at the beginning of any mission. Fixed an issue with texture display on the Staunton pay and spray sign. Fixed an issue where the wheels were not connected to the vehicle being worked on by Joey. Fixed a spelling error on the deli and pizza storefront on Staunton Island. Grand Theft Auto Vice City The Definitive Edition Add banners added to the sides of the Rumpo, Coach, Benson, and Boxville vehicles. Fixed an issue where the cutscene at the end of the mission shakedown would hang as it transitioned back to gameplay. Fixed an issue where rain could be seen inside during the cutscene to the mission publicity tour. Fixed an issue where rain could be seen inside during the cutscene to the mission alloy wheels of steel. Fixed an issue where rain could be seen inside the limo during the cutscene to the mission 2-bit hit. Fixed an issue with Tommy's hands when wearing the Havana outfit in the mission shakedown. Fixed an issue in the mission cop land where the mission would fail when the cafe would blow up. Fixed an issue where the Diaz mansion had missing textures during the outro to the mission rub out. Fixed a crash at the end of the mission checkpoint Charlie. Fixed a crash encountered during the Blood Ring Arena event. Fixed an issue where texture corruption could be seen on the roads during extended play sessions. Fixed a 10-second pause when listening to the radio station Viroc. Fixed a 15-second pause when listening to the radio station Wildstyle Radio. Fixed an issue during the cutscene for supply and demand where ambient characters were present during the cutscene. Fixed a hole in the game world near Cafe Rabina. Fixed a spelling error on the Welcome to Vice City billboard near the airport. Fixed an error with the Shaft Hot Dog Stand logo. Fixed several texture issues that appeared on island walls. 
fixed an issue where crates could not be destroyed during the mission gun runner, preventing game progression. Fixed an issue where the flamethrower was damaging items behind Tommy. Fixed a hole in the game world when standing on Tommy's wardrobe in the Ocean View Hotel. Fixed an issue where the ramp packer vehicle textures would corrupt while Tommy is standing in close proximity. Fixed an issue where corrupt textures would appear on the road if failing the mission hog tide. Fixed an issue where corrupt textures would appear on the road if failing the mission Boomshine Saigon. Fixed an issue where glass particles would appear oversized when shattering the windows of the gash store. Fixed several texture corruption issues that appeared on the Enforcer police van. Fixed an issue where the barrel of the minigun did not spin when fired. Fixed an issue where the main rotor speed of helicopters did not match the rear rotor speed. Fixed an issue on the minimap where the swimming pool shaped like the Rockstar Games logo was incorrectly reflected on the minimap for Starfish Island. Fixed a texture corruption issue on traffic lights and foliage when raining on the mainland. Fixed an issue where the sign was not properly animating on Hyman Memorial Stadium. Fixed a spelling error on the Mavis bookstore window. Fixed a spelling error when the player is busted during the paramedic missions. Fixed an issue where Lance would be duplicated after restarting the mission Copeland. Fixed an issue where the open graves behind Funeraria Romero were not visible. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas The Definitive Edition Introduced cloud cover at high altitude Added alternate walking and running animations when CJ is at max fat or max muscle Fixed several issues with grass textures that did not display properly Fixed a white outline in Caesar's hairline during the cutscene to the Mission King in Exile Fixed an issue with CJ's body in the cutscene to the mission The Meat Business. Fixed an issue with CJ's body during the opening cutscene to the mission Supply Lines. Fixed an issue with Caesar's fingers during the end scene of the mission Caesar Veal Pondo. Fixed an issue with Caesar's fingers during the end scene of the mission Wu Zi Mu. Fixed a save game issue at the end of the mission Blood Bowl. Fixed a crash that occurred during the mission Dam and Blast. Fixed a texture corruption issue that occurred after prolonged gameplay. Fixed an issue where CJ and Big Smoke would get stuck near the end of the mission just business. Fixed a crash that occurred when drowning near the Ocean Beach end of South Bridge. Fixed an issue where CJ's face would obscure the camera when looking behind him while riding a quad bike. Fixed an issue where CJ's face would obscure the camera when looking behind him while piloting the Hydra in first-person view. Fixed a crash experienced when retrying a checkpoint during the mission Ice Cold Killa. Fixed a spelling error on a Mexican food advertisement. Fixed a spelling error on a guitar store shop front. Fixed an issue where players were able to purchase cornrows at the barbershop without sufficient funds. Fixed a missing bridge in the Shady Creek section of the map. Fixed a bug where the burger on the burger shot sign was not spinning. Fixed a spelling error on the Fleischberg factory sign. Fixed multiple issues in cutscenes where CJ's arms clip through his body while at max fat. Fixed a lighting issue in the Rockshore West safe house. Fixed an issue where the wasted or busted screen could be seen when loading an autosave file. Fixed graphical corruption on CJ's head and body during the motel sequence of the mission reuniting the families. Fixed an issue where window panes are translucent at the Dilmore gas station during the mission Tanker Commander. Fixed an issue where tattoos would project out of CJ's lower arm when he has a muscular body type. Fixed an issue where raindrops did not appear on the water surface. Fixed an issue where various map icons, such as mission blips, would pop in and out of the radar while panning and rotating the camera. Fixed an issue where NPCs who wear numbered jerseys no longer had a random number overlapping the number 7. Fixed an issue where the rain was not displayed corrected when flying during rainy or stormy weather conditions. Fixed an issue with the audio not playing properly when using the changing room at any of CJ's properties. Fixed an issue where CJ's forklift would not act as intended during the mission robbing Uncle Sam. Fixed an issue with the shape of the donut and nut props at the Tough Nuts Donut Shop. Fixed a spelling error with the storefront Sayonara. Fixed an issue where the dodo plane had an inverted nose cone. Fixed an issue where boat propellers did not spin properly. Fixed an issue where the minigun barrel did not spin when fired. Fixed an issue where the incorrect police station sign did not appear in Las Ventras. Fixed an issue where the wrong prices were appearing on the burger shots outside menu. Fixed an issue where CJ appeared too dark when in the 69 cent store. Fixed an issue where haircuts would be swapped out with the Caesar haircut anytime CJ wore a hat. 
Fixed an issue where the radar would disappear after getting caught in the mission home invasion. Fixed an issue where police cars could clip through the ground. Fixed an issue where the UFO prop did not rotate at the Lil Pro bin. Xbox One All Titles. Fixed an issue where the game would not respond for several seconds after exiting certain interiors. Fixed an issue where the player was unable to unlock achievements that other users on other accounts, linked to the same social club account, had previously unlocked. PC All Titles. Fixed a bug where players were unable to highlight or select cancel or confirm using a controller on the mission failed screen. Fixed a bug where players with special characters in the PC account name were unable to save gameplay progress. Fixed the in-game layout when playing with an ultra-wide screen monitor. Fixed an issue where options were not being properly highlighted when hovering a mouse over them. Fixed an issue where clicking sections in the game menus too quickly would prevent those menu options from being displayed. Fixed an issue where the player was unable to select a UI element with a controller if the mouse cursor is already hovering over it. Fixed an issue where, when in full screen, changing the resolution setting would briefly show the old resolution value. Fixed an issue where graphics settings were not saving after restarting the game. This update is absolutely fantastic. You have to give credit where credit is due. Let's do a recap of the most important fan-requested improvements. So Rockstar actually returned the original menu sounds to all three of the games in the trilogy. Finally. Thank you Rockstar. They fixed the missing bridge near Sandy Creeks in San Andreas. If you go there now, it shouldn't be invisible. They changed the Rockstar Pool logo in GTA Vice City. It no longer has a star with 6 points. This basically debunks the whole situation with this being a hint at GTA 6. CJ now has his max fat slash max muscle animations, the ridiculous quad bike camera has been fixed, the Berger shot burger finally spins again like the OG, same with the Lil Probe and UFO. They also fixed the rain error where the rain appeared behind water surfaces. Rockstar actually added fog when you're high up in the sky. By the way, the rain looks a million times better now, and it no longer blocks your vision. And guess what, old Reese is back. Let me know in the comments if you found other new changes and improvements in the trilogy. Rockstar did it. They made some major improvements with this trilogy update. If you are new to the channel, I would really appreciate it if you click the subscribe button for more videos just like this one, and also click the thumbs up button if you enjoy the content. Have fun, stay safe, and I'll catch you later.